Hello everyone, welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're doing well. So for my channeled message readings, it does not matter what your sign is, anyone may resonate with this message, regardless of your zodiac sign. Also remember that the cards represents energies that anyone can embody, regardless of your gender. All right. So for example, if I happen to pull out the King of Wands, you can be a female carrying that energy, okay? All right, let's get started. Mm, I feel like I should use this deck. I've been using my Writer, and writer Tarot deck a lot. Okay. Channel message reading for the collective, okay? You have the strength, we're gonna freestyle the reading, so I'm not going to pull out three cards like I usually do. Um, so the strength. Strength is all about overcoming difficulties, okay? Let's clarify the strength card. Clarify the strength. King of Cups. King of Cups is someone who is deeply emotional. This is someone who, you know, just, I always say the King of Cups feels, uh, they they get really strong feelings and emotions, okay? And they tend to be very deep and sensitive and vulnerable. But the King of Cups, excuse me, but the King of Cups doesn't really like to show it. So he tends to cover it, Okay. He tends to cover it, he can hide it, but that just, it makes it worse. It makes him even more emotionally unstable. This is also a king of pentacles. This, is, this could be someone who's very successful, um, someone who is ambitious, goal-oriented, or this could be um, even someone who's materialistic though, okay? So let's look more into this. Tell us more about the strength and the king of cups. Tell us more about the strength in the King of Cups, Page of Swords. They've been spying. Three of Cups. Yeah, they've been spying on you, like specifically through social media. Page of Swords is communication from a distance, okay? So it's like receiving a news or letter, a message, but from someone who's not close to you. So this could be someone who lives in another city, another state, country, okay? Um... And I feel like they've been using social media to connect with you, whether you know this or not. Three of Cups is here. I feel like this is a... I feel like this is like a third party or something. Clarify the Three of Cups. Let me see. Clarify the Three of Cups. This could be a friend. The Three of Cups. It could be a friend, someone who you once affiliated with. Nine of Swords. Let me see. What's the relation? How, how are these two people connected, please? How are these two people connected, please? Eight of Swords. How are these two people connected? This King of Cups and the other person. How are they connected, please? How are they connected? Let me see. Maybe the cards don't want to say. <laughs> Six of Wands. Six of Wands is my victory card. Six of Wands, of course, it looks like a team. This could be victory. This could be um, some challenges. Um, victory after challenges. 
I feel like it's saying that this is someone within your community, but I don't feel like you're directly con uh, connected to this person, though. I feel like the two of you know of each other, but I don't feel like the two of you know each other. There's a difference. It's it's almost like you guys have mutual friends, that, that sort of connection, where you don't know each other directly, but you know people who know them. Does that make sense? Because I asked how, how the two of you are connected, and first the Eight of Swords came out, all right? Eight of Swords, is, it's a mental card. It's being stuck in, in, in your head, being in, in like a mental prison. And the Six of Wands, it's victory. I feel, like, I feel like this was a rival to you. I feel like the two of you do not know each other, but the two of you know of each other. And they, there could have been some competition here. I feel like this is like a third party or, or someone who saw you as a rival. This is their energy. They're the chariot. Okay, the chariot is all about forward. Well, when I clarified the three of cups, the chariot came out. This person doesn't have good intentions for you. They want to get close to you, close enough to like study you, read you. And to, they want victory over you. So they want to defeat you. This person is seeing you as a rival, okay? The five of swords is defeat. It's a lack of success. The Four of Swords, they, yeah, this is a rival, you guys. This is a rival. They will not stop thinking about you with this Four of Swords here. They think about, like, rent-free. You are in this person's head rent-free. You have the Seven of Swords. Someone who's sneaky, doing something sneaky, not wanting to get caught. Yes, they're trying to get close to you. They want to read about you. They want to study you. It's like studying you. It's like studying the competition. Clarify the Seven of Swords. They've been doing all sorts of sneaky things behind your back, but you don't even know. This person is not a threat to you, so you you don't give them a lot of your energy. Because if they were really about it, if they were really about it, they would tell you face to face, right? They would confront you what their problem is. But this is like someone who's secretly competing with you, wasting their time, obsessing over you. This is um, Queen of Swords, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or they're just in, maybe they have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their birth chart, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. This is giving me like a smart Alec. Like this is someone who is cunning. They feel like they can outsmart people, okay? Um. You know, th this is someone who's very sharp. Yes, they're sharp-minded. But I feel like sometimes when they get jealous, you know, or even envious, they want to use their intelligence to be calculated, you know, to be cunning. Um, and they're strongly embodying this hermit energy where I feel like this person could be hiding or they're isolating or they're recovering from something. Um, or, you know, the hermit could even be like a self-discovery card. It's like they've been in the shadows watching you, studying you, obsessing over you. I'm surprised the devil card hasn't come out yet. Wow. This person is good with their words. I feel like they're slick with their words, but I feel like that's really about it. You know, they're very smart and, and, and calculated and sharp with their words. Uh, Queen of Swords is, is very logical. This is someone who knows how to put her feelings and thoughts aside um, to make a logical decision. This is someone who can lack empathy at times. When you upset this queen of swords, she can be very cold, okay, and hurtful. But I don't, I don't, this person is very vindictive or, or they have some sort of vendetta towards you. Um, <laughs> but it's like, they've just been doing this in the shadows. So I'm just like, what's the point, you know? Cause I feel like you're not paying mind to this person and they're suffering. 
because the strength is overcoming difficulties and let me see it was the strength and the king of cups so i feel like this person's experiencing some like emotional they're they're experiencing some turmoils i feel like this person's very they're very emotionally unstable it's like they are they are a um, emotional roller coaster and i'm hearing that people are distancing themselves from this individual but then they watch you they're spying on your social media and they're like watching you live your life there's jealousy there's both jealousy and envy clarify the seven of swords they like to talk about you a lot but they it's getting to a point where people think that they're crazy it, it, what's driving this person crazy is because I feel when they like talk about you, maybe they talk to their friends about you and their friends end up liking you. This is a situation where they may tell their friends about you and then their friends watch you as well. And then their friends become fond of you. <laughs> so it's just frustrating this person. It's like they can't get people to hate you. You're pure. Your energy is very pure. You know, and, and even for people who don't know you personally, it's like when they see you, they just, you have this like angelic energy to you. So even people who don't know you personally, when they look at you or when they spy on you, they actually end up liking you. And, and this is a very hateful person. They don't know why they can't get people to hate you. Clarify the seven of swords. And, and it, they need to stop because it's backfiring because I feel like they're actually losing friends because of this. Friends who feel, who are starting to see them as just jealous, bitter, hateful, obsessive. I'm hearing obsessive. People are starting to see that they're obsessed with you. And it's weird. It's, it's interesting, not weird, but it's interesting because I feel like this person wants to hate you so badly, but you have not given them any reasons to hate you at all. And every time they watch you to hate on you, I feel like this person is actually starting to like you. Okay, not necessarily in a romantic way, but like they're becoming, they're growing fond of you. Like, okay, I guess she isn't so bad after all. Or I guess he isn't so bad after all. It's like you just have this energy to you where you you turn haters into fans. People can't hate you no matter how hard. I'm talking to someone who is very angelic. Clarify this three of wands. And people who do hate you and they go against you, they always come crawling back. Um, Theory of Wands is someone who's waiting for their ships to sail in. I feel like this person wants to talk to you. They want to get to know you. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, let me see. <laughs> Clarify the three of wands. I feel like this person wants to like encounter you, but in person. Look, the devil came out. The devil and the nine of swords. They're going to find a way to talk to you. This is a fan. It's a hater who is slowly transitioning into, into a fan, but not a good fan. You know, this is someone who's jealous and, and envious, you know but they just can't get themselves to hate you. So three of wands waiting for their ships to sail in. I feel like they're trying to set up something here where they'll be able to talk to you. The devil came out. They're obsessively planning on speaking to you. They want to talk to you in person. They want to see you in person. Like, ugh, let me see if she's as pretty as she looks on her social media. Let me see. Let me see if she's as tall as she looks on her social <laughs> on her social media. I'm just teasing. But that's really how this person is. It's almost like they worship you in a way. Uh, 
I think this person fixated on you too much and now they're a little bit in awe of you. As envious and hateful and hateful as they are, this person is in awe. It's something about your energy, okay? Um, if this is someone who is like low vibrational, they're dark spirited, then of course they're going to be attracted to your light. I think that's what's going on here. It's an obsession. The devil is an obsession. Someone who's possessive, obsessive, controlling, an influencer. It's like they just have to see you in person anyway, anyhow, or they, they just want to talk to you anyway, anyhow. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, it's a, it's a swift action taker, okay? A straight shooter. <laughs> They're trying to find any type of way that they can talk to you. Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords. They're going to talk to you out of nowhere, I feel. It's going to be very spontaneous. Let's clarify this Knight of Swords. It's a swift action taker. Like if they find out that you're, you know, somewhere near them, if you're at a store, you know, near them, or you're at the same event, they're going to rush to you to just see you. Like it's an, obs it's an obsession. Let me see. Yeah, the, the emperor. The emperor is, um, wait a second, clarify the emperor. Clarify this emperor. This person carries a masculine energy. This could be a, a, a female who carries a masculine energy. Whoever this person is, they have a masculine energy, male or female. So you take it how it resonates. Um, but the emperor is very dominant, masculine, you know, likes to take charge, likes to get the situation under control. Okay, emperor can be very controlling, especially at a low vibration. Knight of Wands is here. There's something about this person's energy that's very masculine. In the beginning, I you know, I thought I feel like this is a female with a masculine energy. If not, it could be a male, but I feel like for most of you it's a female. They have this Knight of Wands energy to them, like they're reckless. Okay? They're very in and out, um very passionate, very determined, but when they want their way, they will get their way. You know, they'll run over whoever wants to stand in, stand in their way. Um, a passionate action taker. I feel like you should be careful with this person. This is a very reckless individual. They're very envious of you. They've been seeing you as a rival. They have this like vendetta um, towards you or against you. Um, They're ruthless. That's the thing. They, this is a second knight card. Knight of swords and knight of wands. Like they do things before thinking. They, they act before they think. And I feel like this person just can't. It's like they. It's, it's getting to a point where they have to admit that you're just perfect. Like this perfect angel in their eyes. Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, they have to give up. This rivalry, Five of Pentacles, is someone who is experiencing hardships. Someone who's been left out in the cold. Okay, it could even be someone who, it's like someone who's experiencing struggles. Yeah, you know, even losing money, losing connections. Eight of Cups, having to walk away from an investment. This person may be going through a breakup. 
clarify the five of pentacles and the eight of cups, please. Clarify the five of pentacles and the eight of cups. Oops. Clarify the five of pentacles and the eight of cups, please. Yeah, they went through, there was some sort of ending here. I feel like they've gone through a breakup. The death is an ending. And um, I don't just feel like it was a romantic breakup. I feel like a lot of people have, have ended their connections with this person. So they're losing lovers, friends, you know, people, they just feel like everyone's against them. Yeah, five of wands is conflict. No one wants to talk to this person. But the way that they're fixating on you, maybe this is where they wanted you to be with the five of wands. If this person was trying to stir up conflict in your life, it, ba it backfired and it's happening in their life because they're experiencing major endings here with relationships, with friends, with relatives. And then it's like people are being very ugly to this person, okay? They're fighting with them. There's drama here. They're in the hangman. They're like, stop. Like, no one cares. This is sad. If this person is in need of help, no one really cares. Like, everyone's just walking right past them. Like, they don't matter. Um, but the hangman is someone who's stuck, okay? They're trapped. There's no movement. There's no progression. They're at a standstill. Things are not moving forward for this individual. I think this is someone who has to just admit defeat. And if they were doing something to go against you, it backfired. They're living that nightmare that they may have intended for you to live. Tell us more about this uh, Queen of Swords person. Give us more details on this strength individual overcoming difficulties. They are a magician, okay? So the magician is crafty, very skilled, okay? Um, you know, knows the right things to do and say to get what they want. The magician is, is a manifester. The magician is not a bad person. Um, now, the magician, like I said, is skilled and crafty. So, you know, this may have been someone who was sort of an illusionist too. Let me see. Clarify the magician. Oh, yeah. Look on the back. Eight of Cups doing work. This person was definitely behind the scenes, you know, being crafty and skilled and plotting or, or orchestrating something against you. They were working on something pertaining to you. That's why they're this magician. They're crafty. Clearly, something has backfired on this magician. Hopefully, this is not a literal magician, someone who is into magic, because if they were using magic... It backfired. Like if they were using like conflict spells and stuff, it definitely hit them hard. Okay, because people are treating this person so bad. No one wants to talk to them. They're losing their friends. People are, you know, their lover has broken up with them. Um, but if this is like a magician where they're crafty and skilled, uh, you know, let's say they were lying, you know, trying to manipulate people to go against you, it just backfired. Whatever this, because the Eight of Pentacles is working on something. Whatever they were working on to go against you, it backfired. I'm also hearing that they got caught in a lie and a group, it was a group who caught them in a lie. They could have been, maybe they were caught red-handed by a group or they were confronted by a group. This could be, this could be a group of friends, affiliates, affiliates, but it's, yeah, this person got kicked out. They got kicked out of some sort of group here. I'm getting the word excluded. That's sad. That's why now they're just watching you. They're like, oh, I can't take this girl down or I can't take this guy down. <laughs> queen of Pentacles, clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Hmm. 
So the Queen of Pentacles is very stable, okay? Very solid, very abundant. This is the Queen of Abundance. It's like everything she touches turns to gold, okay? Um, Queen of Pentacles is known, is known to be very hardworking, uh, very successful due to her hard work, very committed and loyal. Queen of Pentacles is uh, luxurious, but also very humble. Now, when I clarify the Queen of Pentacles energy, the Four of Wands came out. So the Four of Wands, this is my redemption card. I feel like this person tried everything to take you down, okay? But it just didn't work. It's like you look untouched. You're over here booked and busy, making money, being, you know, um, innovative. Queen of Pentacles is very innovative. You could even be a, a business owner, and an entrepreneur, whatever your profession is, you master your craft and you get the recognition for it, okay? Like I said, everything you touch turns to gold. This is, Queen of Pentacles is the most valuable woman in the deck. And yes, you can be a male and carry this energy. Remember that. Um, and with the Four of Wands, like, redemption. Everything this person put you through, it's like it didn't do anything to you. You look unharmed. And it probably did. You know, who knows what this individual did to knock you down. But you picked yourself yourself up. Four of Wands is victory. It's redemption. It's a celebration. It's a commitment. It's marriage. See how this woman looks like she's just in peace? She's in peace. The cards that were that were once flying everywhere. Let me tell you, this person had you in this Eight of Swords energy. wonder if it came out. Yeah, it did. This person had you in the Eight of Swords. Something that they did to you where you were blindfolded, tied up, surrounded by swords. The cards are flying everywhere. But it's like you gathered the same young woman here, gathered the cards, picked up all the pieces, and built a home. You're enjoying your solitude. You're at peace. You're having a tea party here. Your life is stable. Queen of Pentacles is, is abundant. The queen of abundance. Like, this person could not change your life. They couldn't alter your life or alter your destiny or destroy you. Whatever they were trying to do because this was like a rival. They failed at this. Horribly. Horribly, 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 horribly. And the Knight of Pentacles is here. They may have, um, let me see what this Knight of Pentacles is. Like you are so lovely. Your energy, whoever it is that I'm picking up, you are highly loved. You are highly blessed. You're highly favored. You are the star. And you're so lovely. Like whoever this person is, I really like them. Your energy is so angelic. Even your haters are falling in love with you. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. This is what happens when you heal, you forgive, you recover, and you don't allow yourself to be like the people who hurt you. Never lower yourself to be like the people who hurt you, okay? Always pick yourself up and be the person who they are too weak and broken to be. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is you. They couldn't, I feel like, you know, the, the Nine of Pentacles is a slow yet steady energy. So they may have caused you some challenges some delays you know try to put blockages in your way but you still kept on moving you still you know you you stayed on your rightful path you continued your walking down that path and you are still reaching for your blessings they couldn't block you from your blessings slow yet steady uh slow yet steady always wins the race it's like you just took your time, you know, maybe you experienced there were some obstacles and challenges and, you know, they were trying to give you a hard time, but you just, you kept it pushing and you've arrived. You have arrived, okay, uh, to your destination, okay? Nine of Pentacles, it's like, a, it's slow. It's a sort of a late arrival, but 
Your, your destiny is still there. Your blessings are still there. So there was no rush in the first place. I feel like if anything, those obstacles and blockages that they put on your path, it actually taught you good lessons. It gave you wisdom. It gave you character development. It gave you more strength, you know? Like you're resilient. You are resilient. You bounce back every time. And, and even this person here is in awe of that. Yeah, I mean, look, Ten of Pentacles, generational wealth. This is this is you. This is what you're meant to live, a generational wealth, a traditional and successful family life. You're about to get all Ten Pentacles. Maybe you were at, at, at the pre-empress energy. Maybe you were at the Nine of Pentacles, and they thought they could come in and cause a disturbance that would, like, you know, destroy you or discourage you from getting all Ten Pentacles. No, they couldn't stop anything in your life because you are resilient, because you continue to push forward no matter what life brings you. You are about to get your Ten of Pentacles, and they can't stop that. And all they can now do is sit back and watch you and obsess over you and fangirl over you. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles is yours. Wow. Not everyone gets this Ten of Pentacles. You're very blessed. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Like all this person, if this individual was an enemy and they try to uh, compete or defeat you, it's like they, all they can do is just sit back. There's no denying that you are blessed. They can't deny it. I feel like it's your blessings that, you know, they're even like in awe of you. You keep on shining. Like this person cannot deny that you are highly favored. They can't deny it, that you are a star. That your light indeed shines brighter than the other stars. You know, they, they can't do anything. They can't harm you. They can't block you. They cannot do anything. I feel like if anything, what they did by putting those obstacles in your way, it gave you more power. And now you're more powerful than all of your enemies. And they know that. So now all they can do is just sit back and watch you. Because whatever force they were using against you, what, what, whatever weapons they were forming against you, it did not work. And they built, they built your power by even trying you in the first place. It's like you are a giant compared to these little ants. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, it's like you're a force to be reckoned with. You, no one can touch you. These people here, this particular person, whether it's them or it's multiple people with this energy, they cannot touch you. They just have to sit back and watch you do your thing. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, look, the Fool. This is your new beginning. You're about to receive your Tenth Pentacle. And there's nothing they can do about it. There's nothing. The fool is a risk taker taking a leap of faith into a new beginning. What did I say? The nine of pentacles. And this new beginning that's that you're walking into, you're going to get your 10th pentacle. That's the maximum pentacles that, that anyone could have is 10. You have all nine by yourself and you're going to get all 10 by yourself. Of course, people are, are uh, uh, envious. Of course. And if they thought they could take your, your blessings, if they thought they could sabotage you and, you know, take away your abundance, man, let me tell you, they thought wrong. And all they can do is sit in defeat and just watch you. Tell us more about this uh, strength individual. It's almost to the point where this person or your enemies have just surrendered at this point. And all they can do is sit back and watch you flourish. You have the Empress, you have the Ten of Cups, and you have the Two of Pentacles. 
I told you, <laughs> oh my gosh. This, yeah. It's almost like someone here could even be living through you because it's like they're seeing the life that you're living and they would like to live that life. This person could have easily just been your friend, like been a genuine friend and, you know, loves you, loved you genu genuinely and support you and then learn from you and be, that's the thing I don't understand. People who are jealous and envious when you can just be inspired by that person and they can actually teach you, you know, and help you um, to be successful. But clarifying the strength, you have the Empress, Ten of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Huh. The moon is on the back. Clarify the Empress. Page of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. loving kind nurturing um, maybe a mother doesn't have to be though but this is someone who's very kind and nurturing this is an empath um, there's something here this person was trying to hold back from you hmm the Empress is the most uh, powerful woman in the deck. I feel like maybe they thought if they could hold back, um, if they could block you from getting that 10th pentacle, they probably thought that you would stay in the pre-Empress energy, that nine of pentacles, but you became, the thing is, a relationship doesn't make you the Empress. Many times the Empress and the Emperor um, they become the empress and then they meet each other. They become the empress, they become the emperor, and then they meet each other. Someone here felt like if they could like block, block you from getting love and keep you at that nine of pentacles that you would never reach the empress energy. But no, that's not what it is. That's that's not what it is at all. The the Empress, it's a title. Not everyone can be the Empress. The Empress faces many challenges in her life and she comes out redeemed. And that's how she becomes the Empress. The Empress has been through it all, yet she is she stays kind. She stays kind, loving, nurturing, empathetic. She helps people. She doesn't become bitter like the ones who hurt her. So when they were trying to put those blockages in your way, they actually helped you become the empress. This, <laughs> I feel like this person got the opposite results. They thought those blockages would break you and keep you, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, or they thought if they could block you from getting your 10th pentacle, by putting blockages in your way but no when they put those blockages in your way it actually developed you into the empress the empress doesn't rely on on an emperor to be an empress no the empress is an empress individually the emperor is an emperor individually and then they come together I hope that makes sense. Um, Page of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like they were trying to hold you back. The Four of Pentacles is someone who is attached or someone who has an attachment, someone who's greedy, selfish. And then the Page of Pentacles is here. They did not want you to get that Ten Pentacle, I'm telling you. Whoever this person is, they thought that, that, you know, I don't know what this person was doing. They could have been targeting your love life, honestly.
but they didn't realize that what they did actually developed you into the empress but they thought that you would have to get the 10th pentacle before in order for you to be an empress they thought you would have to get like a love offer or be in a relationship in order for you to this is someone who was jealous this person was jealous of you they thought you had everything like the career the finances the attention the the loving friends and family and they were probably like oh well they're only missing a relationship and that's what i'm gonna block them from getting a relationship but the thing is like i said you can be an empress without a, a relationship when they put those blockages in your way they actually uh, 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 they gave you the strength and de and developed you into an empress. Is that making sense, you guys? The, the empress has to overcome certain obstacles in her life. And they placed those exact obstacles in your life and you overcame them and it made you the empress. <laughs> My goodness. This is a wicked person, very vile, almost diabolical. Like, who thinks like that? Like, oh, well, this person has it all. The one thing that, that they don't have, I'm going to make sure they don't get it. Like, that's so evil. Who thinks like that? Clarify the Ten of Cups. And they really thought that they could hold back your 10th pentacle. No, you can't block someone's blessings. No one can block your blessings. Everything was divinely orchestrated in your favor. This person, this idiot here needed to put those blockages in your way to strengthen you. You built the strength to overcome those blockages. And that's how you became the empress. Like they did you a favor pretty much is what I'm trying to say. And they don't even know that. They were a catalyst to you becoming an empress. <laughs> My gosh. If anything, they prepared you for this 10th pentacle that you're going to get. They prepared you for it. Clarify the 10 of cups. been someone who you did know in the past but I feel like you stopped talking to this person or you just don't know them like that anymore eight of wands Ace of Cups, this is a divine gift of a new beginning. This is your happily ever after. You're going to get your happily ever after. Ten of Cups is happily ever after, unconditional love. Eight of Wands is swift energy. is coming at you really fast. Clarify the Ten of Cups. What's meant for you will always be for you. Whoever this person thought is or... You know, whoever they think they are, thinking they could, like, block someone or block someone from fulfilling their purpose. Like, get out of here. <laughs> page of Wands. Clarify this Page of Wands, please. You're going to get your happily ever after. You're going to get that marriage, that relationship, that commitment. Clarify the Page of Wands, Three of Swords, What in the World, Four of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. This person's obsessed, you guys. Be careful. Because I'm trying to wonder why they were trying to even block you from being in a relationship. Like, what the heck? 
Why? Why wouldn't you want someone in a relationship unless they're obsessed with you? Now that I think about it, that three of cups, it could be a third party or it could be a friend, someone who you affiliated with. Hmm. Page of Wands. You are about to meet, you're about to get your happily ever after. You're about to get the relationship um, that you want, the commitment that you want. And I'm hearing the person who's coming towards you is like your true love. This is your life partner here. So if there was someone from your past who this individual blocked you from being with, don't even worry about that because that wasn't even your, your real person who you're meant to be with in the first place. Your true love is coming in. Your life partner is coming in. That's what this page of wands is. But um, it's going to trigger this person with the three of swords. The three of swords is going to trigger them. It's something about you getting your 10 pentacle. Like, this is per do they want you to stay single forever? Or what is this? It's going to make them feel heartbroken. Four of Cups. They're going to feel rejected, left out. And the Six of Pentacles, they may feel like it's unfair, even though it is fair. Like, Six of Pentacles is balance. Six of Pentacles is fairness, equal give and take. They may feel like, oh, but what about me? What do you mean, what about you? I don't know. I'm beginning to think maybe this is someone who's actually in love with you and obsessed with you, but couldn't come to terms with that. And that's why they were targeting your, that's why they were targeting your love life. And maybe they, this person actually went against you at a certain point because they were trying to punish you for not choosing them or for wanting to be with another person. And they tried to be that three of cups. They may have tried to, uh, um, you know, intervene, be a third party and disrupt your relationship or something here. Something about you being in a relationship that just, it triggers this person. I don't know if it's like a, that should be me who should get her relationship or it's that should be me who should be with her. Or him for my male viewers. I, I can never forget my male viewers. Um, I love all of you guys equally, but I, I never want to want to make them feel excluded. Um, yeah, look, justice. Like they're gonna feel like it's unfair. I don't know what is this person's problem here. What is the, like what really is their problem? Is it that they're so envious that they feel like your relationship should be theirs? Or is it that they should be the one to be with you? <laughs> That's really... I know you guys are like, Dream, what are you talking about? I hope this is making sense. I really... Because on the back is, is justice here. But, but it's almost like them feeling like it's unfair. You know, it's like a them feeling left out in the cold, feeling rejected, feeling like, okay, but what about me? Like you're giving to another person. What about me? This may be someone who is like, has some secret feelings for you. There's a plot twist here. That's why this person gets really unstable when you get in relationships. Because with the justice, they feel like when seeing you in a relationship, they feel like you're, they get so angry. Like they feel like you're you're going against them. That, like, like you're doing something bad to them. And that's how they get all triggered and, you know, they go crazy. And then, you know, they may even try to punish you by messing up your relationship. That's how they retaliate, by, by coming in between you and your person.
that's what it is. Clarify the justice. Like, how dare you be with, with, with another person? This person is, is um, it's like a, what about me? What about me? Like, they like pity. Um, five of cups, regrets, crying over spilled milk. Um, this is an interesting person, whoever it is that I'm picking up. Um, five of cups, regrets, crying over spilled milk, justice card is here. Clarify the justice. Clarify the justice, please. Because they're going to try to cause an imbalance. When you get this new love, the scales will be balanced. You're going to have all ten pentacles. It's going to be fair, right? That's how it's supposed to be. You get your new love. You get your love. You get your ten of pentacles. You get your relationship. You get your happily ever after. That's fair. But to this person, they feel like it's not. And they're going to try to cause an injustice. They're going to try to cause an imbalance. And this time around... If they do this, they're going to get in trouble for it. This is them crying over spilled milk. They may get arrested. They may be like, you know, taken away or something. And I randomly stopped shuffling in the Wheel of Fortune. Karma. Wheel of Fortune is a karmic wheel. Because it's like they're trying to mess up your relationship again. I feel like they did this to you in the past. You know this person, but no, it's like you used to know them. You used to know this person. But now the two of you just know of each other. So probably when they did this, you cut them out. You know, and whoever they, if they came, like I said, if they came between you and another person in the past, don't worry about it. That wasn't even your actual person. Your real person's coming in. They're going to cause injustice, but the universe is not going to let it happen. Because this is your, this is your true love here. You deserve this person. So if they try it again, justice will be served and they're going to get in trouble. They're going to be crying over spilled milk. They're going to regret something here. They And with the justice card, they may actually go to court. They may get a restraining order. Clarify justice. I'm telling you guys. Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. in the world tell, tell me about this queen of cups and the king of pentacles oh i don't think wait you didn't see something right about this person this individual y'all this individual i feel like this person is into um i think this person is is um my head is all over the place into like same sex relationships um See, this is why we have to be open-minded when reading tarot cards as well. Because um, anyone could just say, oh, Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles, da, 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 da. No, this is their energy. I feel like this person may be like bisexual or they have a masculine, and it goes back to what I was saying earlier, where I was like, this person has a masculine and feminine energy, which is nothing different, it's nothing new. We, everyone has their masculine and feminine side, okay? Everyone has masculine and feminine energy, but we tend to embody either one or the other. We tend to embody either one or the other depending on our circumstance, but this person carries them both. Um, 
I feel like this is someone who may be bisexual. I feel like this person is in love. Like with the Queen of Cups, this is someone who's in love. Or someone who, this is typically someone who's in love or some, or, or the woman who a man is in love with. But they're this King of Pentacles. They want to be the one to give you y'all, 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 y'all. This is some plot twist here. I feel like I just put together some sort of puzzle piece or something. King of, this is them. This person is in love with you. They want to commit to you. They carry a very masculine energy when it comes to you, like romantically. That's why this person could have been very controlling, like about your love life. Maybe they would be like, no, I don't want you to date that person or... You know, they're in love. They are in love with you with this Queen of Cups here. And they're also a King of Pentacles. I told you they carry both feminine and masculine energies at the same time. Okay, which is very unique. King of Pentacles, they want to be the one to commit to you. They want to be the one to be with you. So whenever you're in relationships or you're interested in someone, they get very jealous and competitive and they feel like they can be a better boyfriend to you or a better lover to you. That's why this person's always complaining. This is the kind of individual where you and your lover could get in an argument and you call them to, you know, maybe get some advice like from a friend and they're very protected. They're like, no, they're not, no, break up with them or they're not good enough for you. It's because they feel like they're the one who want, who should be with you. They feel like they're better than your lover, than your love interest. This person has, we, I feel like we have to do an extended because I feel like there's a big misunderstanding here. I feel like this person has done some stuff in the past to like, get rid of people who were romantically interested in you. I feel like they've scared, like if you had a love interest or someone who had, had, if you had someone who was romantically interested in you, I feel like this person did a lot of creepy things to like shoo them off and get them away from you. Like they would shoo off the competition. I want us to do an extended because there's more to this person here. I've never seen something like this. I mean, like I said, it's possible to carry both energies at the same time, but most people, we embody one or the other. But this person carries it at the same time. It's almost like I'm reading two people, but it's, it's the same person, okay? Very interesting. And this person is obsessed with you and I don't want it to get to a point where it's like a fatal attraction sort of thing. So please be careful. But I feel like this person has never taken their eyes off you because I feel like you cut them off in the past. But I feel like they still try to forcefully be in your life by like spying on you. But that page of swords, they stay, they still kept on spying on your social media. We're going to do an extended, okay? Um, yeah, we're going to do an extended. I hope this, like, clarifies that this may be specific for just a few people. But, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, it may be specific. But you know if it's for you or not, all right? Um, very interesting. We're going to do an extended and look into this person's energy some more. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this helps. Okay, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Um, and the link to the extended is going to be linked in the description box. Okay, thank you. Take care.